All right, hello you Paul. Welcome to our game dev stream again on Monday. Uh, in the upper right corner, you see me. Uh, you see, I'm I'm Luxon. I'm doing the game dev as usual, and with me on Skype, which I will enable right now, is Henne, aka Geflügel. Hello. Hello. Should, yeah, seems hello. to work. And again, we work um, with our new setup. Hello. Um, I actually did some changes in the stream setting. Just make sure there's no sound here. I actually made some changes in the streaming settings. Um, I hope that will help a bit with the screen quality. Um, we will see. So, like, uh, I actually am streaming slightly less quality and hope that way the stream will work more. Well, there will be less problems, like less delays and uh, hiccups or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so as for content, um, today we will do some good old mapping. That means we create new areas in CrossCode, like the stuff you walk through and uh, puzzle rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, but we actually have a choice for you this time. So you can actually decide whether you want to have um, like mapping of heat of the heat dungeon, that is like interior rooms. Um, just saying it's... Um, uh, that's like will be more a rough draft that we will create. So it's mostly just creating the basic outlines. Oh hey, DK is here. Hi there. Um, hey DK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he surprised me. I got you away from Stardew Valley. I'm also kind of surprised. Like the whole th the whole team seems I to be playing this right now. Like uh, our sprite yeah. artist Tina already wasted over 50 hours in that. <coughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Oh man, I hope she won't kill me for telling that. Um. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Again, back to what we will do. So the uh, one option is that we will create uh, interiors of the heat dungeon, just very rough drafts. But you can see how we use the terrain map there. Or the other option is that we will actually do details from the outer area of the heat area. That's like um, desert mapping. So that's that's like mm -hmm. the choice you have. And hey, Atlesa, since you're here, uh, would be great if you could create a poll for these two options. So either interior mapping for the heat dungeon or exterior mapping for the heat area. That means desert, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Apparently, you can waste 50 hours on Stardew Valley. Don't ask me. Uh, uh, Felix, by the oh, way, um, yeah, I like a, a little, a little fun point. fact or some. Uh, since when is um, Sky Arena called Super Sky Arena? Apparently, it uh, um, I, I have no idea. Since today, because I, I just got a Steam update for Sky Arena, or rather, how it's now called Super Sky Arena. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know really. By the way, Sky Arena is a great game. You should you should definitely play it at some. Do point. play it. <laughs> it's fun with with friends. Uh, but don't I play see. against DK because he will just beat you up. He, like he's he's invincible. I, I still don't believe it. I, I, he still haven't he still hasn't won against me, so I don't. Did you play against him? No, but <laughs> well, you should. Then, then your illusion will be broken. I it's think true. I was there. Him, every, everyone just let him win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I certainly didn't. But well, okay. For whatever that. Well, counts. it's you. <laughs> <laughs> you just complain about lag and ads and stuff. So. Yeah, come on. <laughs> not, not that time. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I just wanted to to look. Oh wow! I, I, I also already got two hours in Stardew Valley, and I like. Mm. Well, <laughs> I played it in one sitting. <laughs> yeah, so 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 just to um, to um, so. um, to put it in perspective, like four of the guys in my friends list are playing it right now, and that's even not that much co <laughs> compared to usual. I think I will so. actually vote for the exterior because I think it's uh, oh, yeah, actually, that one is actually same, much actually. more. Yeah, I think it's more interesting because I can actually see the final result, and uh, we already have some some very good base because uh, Stefan already did a lot of. Um, actually, going to broadcast on the monitor right uh, now. Would uh, in, in interior design also include like puzzle? No, probably. Well, actually, I could create a small puzzle in the first room because I mean that that will be a very basic one. Um, but I think we first have to create the room. 
Yeah, of course. Well, strictly speaking, the interior and the heat dungeon would also include a, a puzzle. A very simple one, though. But I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, from my own, um, from my own experience, I can say that <laughs> that that exterior um, ma mapping is works much better when when um, talking. Meanwhile, because for a puzzle mapping, you you really have to concentrate. Yeah, that's true. A bit. That's true. You have to concentrate much more. So yeah, that will be actually a pretty relaxed stream because exterior mapping is uh, is rather simple. It's just something you can do. Actually, when I was uh, creating, I actually, the last time I created an exterior map, I actually could listen to some uh, to some uh, interview in parallel, and it worked pretty well actually. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, wow! Uh, from a quick look at Steam Spy, the lone dev from. Uh... Stardew Valley, I guess, has made around uh, 2.5 million uh, US dollars so far. <laughs> so they uh, they earned that much money, or what? Loan. Well, I oh, I I guess. Whoa. Uh, okay. The, well, I mean, I've I've, I've showed you. I mean, um, <laughs> like <laughs> like Notch, the creator of Minecraft, even even uh, tweeted a tweet. <laughs> Uh, asking if if uh, this game called Stardew Valley is taking over the universe or what? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> Does pretty... it play so much better than Harvest Moon? I didn't really. Well, uh... it's. I haven't played it so much, but I think it's. It doesn't make a lot of mistakes in that genre. Okay. I, I think it plays as well as the, as uh, the good Harvest Moons. Yeah, it's just that Harvest like... Moon is just mostly there's no Harvest Moon on PC. Maybe that's actually mm, one of the yeah, right. why it is. So. And you have mouse control, which is pretty good for like. Oh, actually, um, yeah, mouse control is always a big advantage uh, for these kind of games. And I think I don't even I don't know. Um, um, did Harvest Moon have so, um, real a real inventory in the later mm -hmm. games? What do you like mean, with, real inventory? With more with more space, basically, or just. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I kind of I kind of remember Harvest Moon um, as having. Like just one inventory space or two or something. You had a big inventory later on in later games. Really? Okay, yeah. F uh, it's well, it's been ages since I played Harvest Moon the last time. Actually, I, I played Rune Factory recently. That was like mm -hmm. similar to Harvest Moon, and it had like pretty advanced inventory stuff. And I have mm -hmm. to say, like they also worked hard to make it really play well. So, um, like mm -hmm. I think, like the the la the latest and newest Rune Factory for 3DS is a pretty good game in terms of how it plays. So. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, the, like the battle war is, is okay. It's it's kind of it's nice, but it's not not all that interesting. But um, everything else works pretty well, so I liked it. So I'm just well, saying that I, I think Half Moon already does a pretty good job uh, in that sense, or at least the new versions. Well, you have also you also have combat in Stardew Valley, but it's also very simple. Yeah. What I've seen. <laughs> well, at lesser, um, you can also by accident like um, uh, gift important items away to to random NPCs. Like, for example, um, a quest item, like an X, for example. <laughs> right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, you can. I mean, it's 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 not an important quest. Apparently, it's just some some. Um, side quests that you get every few days or something, but yep. it's still <laughs> pretty. It's still pretty dumb that you can just mm. gift away items that easily by accident. All right, so um, the oh, you can't anymore. Is... That's good. <laughs> they okay. fixed that apparently. <laughs> That's good. All right, so it looks like actually in the end, certain, some people voted for interior, but still exterior wins. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what we want to do. Good. We work on exterior maps. That's that's fine. Um, uh, but before we start doing that, we actually have one cross central question, like a watcher per question, like the wow. first in I don't know month. Then that's that's really cool. Thanks a lot. Always happy to answer uh, cross central watcher per questions. So mm -hmm. let me just read that one. <clears throat> um, God block for bovine. Hi. I noticed that I guard block the bovines when they charge at me. I have tried numerous times to do the perfect guard against the bovines, but it doesn't seem to work. Is it because they are bigger than they are and cannot deflect them like a stampede, or is it just not working slash bug? P.S. I would also be kinda cool to reflect projectiles still when you get get it implemented. Cheers! 
M. So um, that's actually mm -hmm. not a bug that's intended. So you can mm. perfect right. guard everything, but not everything reacts to it in a way that you have a, a guard counter. You only get mm -hmm. the guard counter for certain enemies, and these are usually like the smaller enemies that will not simply just run you over. So that's that's well, actually. I'm, I mean, actually, um, I mean, we can say it like like. Um, we have to actually um, implement it for each attack if if a guard counter would like yeah. counter an enemy and stun him and and right now it <laughs> it only works on the on the hedgehogs but yeah. i guess we would we will also implement it for other enemies like the frobits for example that's true actually right now it's not very widely spread because the feature mm -hmm. is rather new and we still have to go over some of the old enemies and add an appropriate weakness for um, mm -hmm. For the perfect card, so it's it's really just a case by case thing, um, but we will try to make it like a bit intuitive to see like as long as it's not too massive, you can perfectly guard block it. That includes, of mm -hmm. course, uh, Apollo because look at him, he's small, yeah, he's not that <laughs> massive. Um, but he's 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 not <laughs> as small as Leia. That's true, but only slightly bigger, I think, <laughs> slightly, slightly taller. Um, yep. Right, uh, as for the projectiles, uh, that's actually something we do plan to do mm -hmm. eventually. So um, sooner or later, you will get uh, projectiles that can actually be like <laughs> using perfect mm -hmm. guard. That will be actually pretty cool. I think that's something we will try to do with the horns of the goat, for instance. That mm -hmm. would be one candidate. For that, that, that would actually be, be pretty awesome because then you could actually you could stun it <laughs> yeah, with you its could own attack. Exactly, you would just stun it with uh, with the own thing, and that, that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I I, th I think it's not that difficult to do. It's just uh, just have to do it sometime. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's it for uh, the watcher per question again. Um, since I think more people now are familiar with the wa with the cross central though, that that are mostly like those are player perk people and they cannot anyway. So all the watcher perk people remember you can go to cross central and you can submit a question. Um, if you want mm -hmm. to something more like more like especially if you're curious about some technical detail like if you're doing a game yourself and you wonder how do we do certain things um, just uh, answer just ask it in the watcher per question and we might discuss this here on the stream mm -hmm. um, yeah that's it essentially so right let's start the game dev part yep. I'm just gonna also <laughs> Felix uh, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I don't know if you've seen uh, that already, but there's uh, quite a bit of weirdness with one of the girls you can romance, basically, because um, you can. Are we back in Stardew her, like... Willy? Okay, we're back hmm? in Stardew Willy. I wasn't right. Yeah, there. yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, isn't this a, st a Stardew Willy experience talk? I don't know. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Anyway, there's this this girl. Um, that you can gift like like gems, like diamonds and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that. Yeah. And, and then she's and gonna eat them. And she eats them apparently. <laughs> oh wow! Nice. How, how did you know that that I was hungry? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. That's she's, also, a, she's essentially Spike in a in a costume, I guess. Yeah, she's she's <clears> like <throat> Spike from from My Little Pony. Yeah. <laughs> and Bring also, that back um, up. To, to to get um to get back into crosscode more or less, mm -hmm. there, there are two girls that have quite curious names. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, there is one girl that is called uh, Leah with an H at the end, mm -hmm. who has um, red hair, and then there is uh, another girl that is, that you can romance, who is mm -hmm. called Emily, who has blue hair. <laughs> she just got it wrong, like the hair color. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows Emily's red hair, so Yeah. <laughs> um But I think I mean it's it's most likely a coincidence, but I found yeah. it pretty funny that there is a layer and an Emily with like switch hair color. Yeah, it's cool. Scott. And of course I'm trying to romance Leia. But she's not as um as <laughs> like uh tongue tongue tight as our Leia, but she Maybe rather that's looks better. Uh, <laughs> She she looks rather drunk if, um, whenever you uh, gift her something. Do you it's gift her fun. alcohol? <laughs> no, she's 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 actually one of those nature loving girls. Maybe she has some kind of uh, way to extract the alcohol out of nature stuff. 
Well, you 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 mostly gift her like berries and fruits and stuff. So I guess you say like she she <laughs> just she found a way to exactly make a liquor out of that or something. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so um, yeah. uh, as you can see, I like game dev. I just oh, uh, that's cute. Hmm? What's this? The anime layer. Oh, that. Oh, that's the layer oh. of, of 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 Stardew Valley in a more ani more animal style. Oh, it's actually pretty cute. That's pretty nice. I like that style. I, I think that's actually the the old style, isn't it? Or is it just a fan art? Did they just change it over time? I I, I think they I, I think they changed styles at some point, but I'm not sure if it's that if it's <laughs> that one. Okay, so um, again, so this is here uh, the area which has been prepared by Stefan. He actually mm -hmm. uh, did a really great work recently. So he created like a whole bunch of map. I'm not joking. Look at this, like all yeah, these maps he here. Tons of maps. He was just working like an animal. Like uh, all these maps, um, he just made some very rough um, versions like this. So it's just the basic terrain. Uh, you can already play it. Uh, let's just uh, start this. Actually, let me just go uh, start the game and already teleport to the map, so I can just quickly test it. So just jumping around and everything already works. Uh, we just got to add the details, essentially. Um, By the way, we have one... Uh, um, we have one question already. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a question uh, by Yellow Camel. How is it explained that dungeons are designed for Spheromancer? Um, get the other classes dungeons that are designed for them. Uh, actually, the, the classes are designed for um, the dungeons are designed for all the classes, as yep. uh, Atlas already said, because all the classes have the basic puzzle solving um, abilities, like yeah. throwing those, um, some ball stuff, yeah, like throwing balls quickly or throwing balls that um, bounce off walls, basically. Yep. So that's that's, that's the whole thing. Though it's actually the. Like for the other classes, it's mostly not regular balls, it's actually something else, but otherwise it's the same idea. Um, oh, okay, so it's that, that, um, that an um, anime style for Stardew Valley was basically a fan ah, style, I, I guess. Cool. Okay, but it, it, it is pretty, 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 yeah. pretty, 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 yes. pretty, pretty looking. Um, yes. So. Um, yeah, it works as you can see, and here you can actually receive. We have Stardew, um, no, not Stardew Valley. This is actually Maroon Valley. <laughs> we are now Maroon Valley. Know the difference. <laughs> this is Maroon Valley. Repeat it Maroon Valley, not Stardew Valley. Um, so we're gonna talk about Maroon Valley today. And as you can see, Maroon Valley has a lot of uh, puzzles. So it's kind of different from the previous areas that it's like. Uh, yet there's still like a very wide area where you can just simply walk to the next place, but there will be a lot of tracks where you can diverge from the main path, and there's a lot of puzzles to discover and solve. It's, um, it's actually really had a lot has a lot of depth this area, so I think more than the previous ones, which I think mm -hmm. is good because we kind of like have a grow or in complexity, which is something you want to have in a game. So more the because, farther you uh, get, uh, the more interesting things will be. Because the first dungeon was uh, way too simple. Oh, of course. Was short. As we know, like there was there was nothing. Uh, right by the way, um, uh, someone yeah. just just posted like the, the evolution of the art style of Stardew Valley in the chat. If you are oh. interested, I'm gonna have it's, a quick look at. I it. mean, the, it, it's pretty nice to see because the first um, phases were really simple. Then they like yeah. changed the, the perspective completely. Then they changed it around again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, just imagine if if. We changed our art style like tens of times. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> how much oh work? Gosh. That would be a lot of work. Yep. But actually, the thing is, uh, when it comes to portraits, we actually do think about improving your style. Because yeah, that's, that's we do. one. That's something. That's a common criticism from people that the portraits of Crossword don't really match the quality of the rest. Yeah, and we and actually we are, are important. Yes, they are important. So we are actually currently working uh, on improving those, at least, especially for some characters. Like mm -hmm. Leo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, um, um, what did some um, uh, Silly Hogan? Did, um, did you mean like the leveling crosscode, or or that other game that we tend to talk to? <laughs> I mean, level twenty-four isn't is definitely possible to reach at the current version. Well. 
Well, of course, Abigail is your is your wife who had lesser. I mean, she she seems to be the wife of almost everyone who plays that game. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Abigail Whoa. is the one that is the one that eats uh, diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah. I actually like the one in the upper right more. Looks actually, except for the hair is more interesting mm -hmm. uh, in the lower version, but in the upper version. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, I uh, agree, actually. Style. I mean, I, I and that's I like that's the you know before. that's that's a frustrating thing about portraits. Like everybody has different opinions usually. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, that's why it's sometimes frustrating discussing this. Uh, but yeah, right. So uh, yeah, uh, I will now start creating uh, different terrains. Uh, terrains, terrain, terrain. I don't know. So because. Terrain. Trends, trends. Uh, because Ram, like uh, I decided, um, <laughs> Stefan made in the way that um, the lower uh, layer has this earth thing and the upper one has sand. And I tried to make it a bit more logical because I thought like when sand is moving around by wind and whatever, it usually like collects in corners. That's what I thought because on cliffs mm -hmm. it would just fall down. So like uh, as you can see in the other area that I already finished, it's more like I would just make the sand around the edge of the cliff. And I mean... It is not at the edge of the cliff, but at the, on the lower edge, like where the cliff goes up. Mm -hmm. And on the edge, there is no sand because it just falls down. So that's that's like uh, that's like how how it works. And I will just um, do the same for this map. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we go into All right, I'm just gonna mapping mode. Mapping mode activate. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should also quickly post in the in the multimedia access because oh yeah that would be cool. Maybe because we have um, the stream on a Monday today. It's the what? Okay, we we got the stream on a Monday today, so it's oh yeah unusual for many people, I guess. Yeah, and also like probably Monday is not quite as busy because people have other stuff to do. I have no idea. Well, it's the same on Sunday actually. I mean, if you um, if yeah. you do it on Sunday evening, you can like expect people to have work as the, as the next day. Yeah, but we don't do it that late. Likely. I mean, you can stay awake until roughly mid. Okay, depends on what you yeah. do. Yeah, I, I, I just meant that it's kind of the same on Monday because it's both. Yeah, that's true. In the middle of the week, almost. <laughs> um, it's just that Friday evening is just really the, the worst day to do a stream. I think we tried that. Yeah, of, yeah, Friday evening, definitely, definitely. It's like the worst thing for everything. Uh. So, yeah, um, the the abstract view you're currently seeing here for those who don't know, that's that's our height map tool, and um, it it really helps a lot to create those maps more quickly. And what I'm just doing here is not changing the height, but actually the terrain. That's attached to those tiles, and um, so now I mapped this so just to see different. So that is one, the one before. As you can see here, everything is just earth. Now I'm gonna press A, and it automatically generates now the sand tiles along the earth ground here, and that's mm -hmm. um, uh, the the reason why we do it in a height map is because the terrain actually integrates with the with those cliff tiles and. So it's always good to have them um, essentially, like have all this generated automatically because mapping those cliff tiles is a huge pain. You have a lot of variations there, and that's why that's mm -hmm. why we use it. And not, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this, this feature is like horrible in turn implementation. It's like <laughs> one of the worst implemented features ever. It's all done by me. So I, I can say <laughs> that good. because I did it. It's it's, it's horrible because you did it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I don't have to feel bad for saying that. And it's uh, but it's. It's still it's it's worth it because it really saves so much time, um, but it's it's that's one of the things that I wouldn't really um, really ship with an engine that made for everybody because this thing is just too stupid uh, to customize. It has so many restrictions, uh, so many s small things you have to, to consider, and that's why it's not really a good idea uh, for like for a usable engine. <sighs> I think. Uh, 
I actually have other plans okay. if we ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, that's good. I always have fallbacks. Okay, let's see. Is the post okay? Just uh, looking. So. Okay. I wonder uh, if I should is... listen to a little bit of music quietly in the background. Sometimes I get the impression like listening to music quietly in the background would actually be nice. Because mm -hmm. maybe it, the stream it actually a good atmosphere. Yeah, maybe the atmosphere uh, like the stream is actually stable enough to do this today. Actually, seems rather mm -hmm. good. It's all green on my side at least. Um, well, um, I just realized that it apparently is 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 red on my side when I have the stream. No, actually, it's green now. It was red when I um, had the, 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 you mean the like stream running. Or what? Like, yeah, half a, um, like when we started, but now it's okay. That's good. Yeah, I'm actually looking at OBS, so that that's a good. Hmm? The interesting thing that's actually a higher um, kilobyte per second transfer rate than previously, but it hmm? still uh, runs pretty stable. So I got kind of confused. I thought like the new settings would reduce the amount of data transferred. It's actually higher. Oh well, as long as it works better, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Oh, uh, hi, Seizoi. Hi, Seizoi. Hope you had a nice weekend. I like on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I hope you survived that, that, that weird Saturday that you most likely had. In that yeah. weird uh, desert city. <laughs> Yes, like the weird desert city that's up or whatever. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, nice. I thought so it was it was it was really fun too, I thought. Just that that, that beer was messed up, god damn it. <laughs> Did you drink Kölsch? No Kölsch in Saarland? What? What do you expect? No, it was actually I mean, you uh, get Kölsch everywhere. I, I don't. I don't think you get Kölsch here. I actually never saw it. No, it was actually okay. some some beer from Saarbrücken. Tasted really good. Mm -hmm. but I really felt bad on on Sunday. Really bad. Bad after effects. Uh, yeah. I didn't really didn't drink much, so <laughs> that was really uh, kind of unnecessary. Uh, there's a question: hmm? Will the Twitch be found in the game? <laughs> Was, uh, I, th I think we've planned maybe. something, right? Like, uh, yeah, like yeah. some kind of guest role, maybe? I think we could do something like this. Though I, I think mean, I if you already got a. Well, we have got already the graphics. Though I think if it actually has to appear in game, I probably have to make some more suggestions uh, on how to improve it, because then I have quality standards which have to be fulfilled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you gotta you gotta do some improvements then, Celoyo. I will give you some details if you want to. Um. And now we are actually. Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Oh, that's one of these. What is what? Some anime opening, which I don't quite remember. Ah, yeah, it's that one. Oh, okay, it's the music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm gonna go back and play this. Uh, cross cross soundtrack from the very beginning. <laughs> Celio, that's you. Celio, yo. Celio, yo, 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 yo. Celio, yo, yo, yo. Uh huh. <laughs> ah. Oh wow, that's that's mean. Hmm? If, you know how in the, in this one very successful game that we, we won't talk about anymore, 
um, fishing is so super is so super difficult for many people. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard that. And, and that's apparently and that's apparently because um, it's it's super difficult uh, if you use the mouse. If you if you use a controller, it's apparently pretty easy. What? Oh man. Which is super mean, I think. Because the, the the mouse control for fishing is really terrible. I think it's like uh, it's almost uncontrollable, to be honest. Holy shit! At least if you if you if you want to do it uh, like really good. I mean, it's mm. well. Okay, do we have? It really is. I mean, I think the. I think the, the the fishing control with the mouse is really is is really wobbly to be honest because you have to okay because I've I've read just now that you can use your like uh, your stick for fishing controls on the controller but I mean I haven't tested it so far so I can't really can't really say actually it's just that uh, that would kind of explain why it, why it, it looked so easy when decay did it mm. so adding all that sand, sand, hmm. sand, sand, sand. whatever whatever man I think I actually before I was testing the wrong map if I think about it let me just Check that. I actually have no. When I hear music, I don't want to have any music here. You know, like I remember, I, I had this discussion with uh, Stefan once about uh, how we don't need the option menu or the save menu in the main menu because we have it in the escape menu. And I said, like, I totally only use it in the in the escape menu, in the pause menu. And after I said that, I noticed that's actually not true. I also use the main menu all the time, like. Mm, no, I kind of want the option button again in there. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Stefan won. So, yes. um, Stefan won. Fatality. He won that round. Um, okay, so that that's actually the map that uh, that's the map we are actually mapping here that we are working on. Woohoo! So, just wanted to show that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's uh, he's here actually. Yeah, God damn it, he here. He's that. here. Actually. He was not supposed he's to hear that. To, uh, <laughs> he's here to 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 savor his victory uh, over you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Monday stream. Okay. Hello, Stefan. One. We have two Stefans. But, okay. Who's the second Stefan? I don't know. Apollo theme is awesome. Apollo theme is awesome. It definitely is. Yep. Um, by the way, I've, I've said it already last time. <laughs> Or, or when, or rather, when I was in the stream last time, I don't know mm. when that was. But uh, big kudos to um, to all the people working on the Crosscode wiki. It's really looking great so far. Yep, thanks Especially a lot. Especially how the how the monster pages are, are looking right now. It's really pretty good. Yeah, it's like much better documented than we do. So like, so whenever we need to know something about Crosscode, we just look in the wiki these days. Something. <laughs> Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that. Well, I, I mean, we could, but um, well. I usually have all the data in my yeah, in yeah. my uh, Google documents. But it's it's not as pretty as a wiki. Yep. <laughs> By the way, the goats are, are are really called horny goats at the moment. They are. I mean, why? <laughs> I, I guess we should uh, because well they again. have horns. I mean, strictly speaking, it's in a descriptive uh, name because they're goats yeah. with horns. Like <laughs> all goats have horns, but never mind. Um, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not oh either. yeah, right, right. I'm 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 Stefan too for some reason. I think it was. I don't even know why that was, but I think why? someone called me Stefan or something. I don't even. <laughs> 
I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a... Uh... Oh yeah, right, because I'd, um, I'd lesser said, said Stefan once, when I was in stream. Uh. Right. right. But anyway, here's a link to, to, what, to an enemy page and how great it looks in the wiki. It's amazing. Yeah. No, oh, no. Uh, all we need is a uh, is a uh, is more activity on the TV tropes page. Yeah, more TV tropes, please, do please. I think I actually add more tropes, pills. <laughs> Man, <laughs> and uh, did you saw the Bob Ross does game dev video? That is that's so. Cool. Uh, I didn't. I mean, I've 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 seen I've seen it, but I haven't watched it. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> okay. I mean, isn't there a, a, a Bob Ross does game dev Twitter? Yeah, but it, uh, that's a bit different. That's okay. the, that was just uh, like he's actually like that's an actual Bob Roswell kind of sorter doing game dev on Mario Maker. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's very uh, ironic. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I not see, I see. not very. Uh, uh, V not a very good lesson, let's say it like that, but it's really funny. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> we can post a link later. It's kind of what we. It's kind of what I would expect from such a video. <laughs> yeah. So what you see now is that I, I um, stopped using the height map here and now actually map all the ter terrain details with, with the regular auto tiles. Like when you go into details just quicker and better that way because some of the terrains like this this trail here is not something you can do in the height map. Mm -hmm. Yeah true true that's something you have to map manually. It's like uh, originally like the the turn, how do you say, the auto tiles didn't work in a way that they automatically added those variations. It's like something that uh, we added later. Uh, mm -hmm. That's actually when it was usable to just map using the auto tiles without the height map. And yeah, it works much better since then, I think. Uh, don't we already have the classes in the wiki? I mean, it's. Yeah, uh -huh. character classes are on the wiki, pretty sure. So I mean, recently. I guess there's just not that much to say about them except for like the infos that we once yeah. posted in one of the in those um, updates back then, way back then actually. I mean, didn't they um, get posted like during the Indiegogo campaign? Yeah, at the beginning actually. Uh, I mean, what, what what other info would you expect to hear about the classes? Just curious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's 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 not like it's not like you can play them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like people ask this other over and that? over again. Like, I want to play all the classes. I want to have other party members. I want to play them. I want to walk with the other party members in dungeons or please like dungeons Felix. with all the party members. <laughs> Stop talking about our fans and and, and, and making a whiny no uh, a, a whiny voice. Right. That's very disrespectful. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. But yeah. It's, I mean, it's like we hear this pretty often. It's just, uh, it's just so much work, guys. And that, that's essentially it. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. But I mean, um, I guess the, the most important infos will just get, will just get uh, written in the in the character pages then. Mm. When there is more info about them, I mean, at the moment, Emily is basically just a layer clone, in terms of her stats, at least. Yeah, actually that's true. It's something that's easy to fix, really. So yeah, true. of course, but I mean, I I guess that's something that we will, like, get uh, go over in over later versions. When, yeah, yeah. Yeah, over time, of course. Just like special attacks for Emily, for example. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Emily, special attacks on it. That that would be a cool thing. It will make the character much more interesting once we have that. The, the interesting thing is just that uh, 
when we use special attacks for Emily, uh, when she actually charges the attacks, uh, that will be actually be done without any zoom and any yeah, uh, slowdown and stuff like that. And the thing is, I was actually thinking of having two uh, like PvP fights with two party members on each side. I was at least thinking about having that. But I'm actually not sure mm -hmm. if that's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's the more, it would be too... Uh, the more I think about it, because like, these are very intense fights and your party members will never be all that clever. And um, mm -hmm. the, th the big problem is especially that if you have two enemies, um, they both will use special skills, but not all these special skills will be directed at you. And if one of them uses mm -hmm. a special skill which is not directed at you and does a charge, and uh, then you, you are not allowed to do any slowdown and stuff like this because it would probably be too disorienting. At least I think so. I think it worked pretty well for Apollo. I mean, I, I just tried it mm -hmm. and I thought, well, the slowdown actually works well. It doesn't really annoy you. It's actually it's cool yeah, because I, it gives you a I warning mean, if and it's all a, that. If it's a, a one versus one situation, then then it works pretty well. But Definitely. if you have like multiple party members, I think that's also why, for instance. Uh, I mean, Smash Bros. doesn't have a lot of slowdowns, except for the Super Smash thing, right? It's like the only case where you have Yeah, slowdowns. yeah. But, but the Super Smash case is, is, is pretty special in that no yeah, one yeah. uses it <laughs> oh, outside of okay. like party. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> a, a Super Smash ne um, never gets used in like serious play because you don't have I items see. in that. I, uh. I mean, you know, like no items. Final Destination. Yeah, yeah. No items, Bergen, uh, Bergen Trails. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, wait a second. Spheromans are only no items, <laughs> Bergen Trails. I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's only that Spheromans and Fox have uh, not the same amount of syllabus. Syllabus? That's well, I get, yeah, yeah. That's why it doesn't work all that awesome. well. Also here, this is like on the wrong height. Gonna fix that. Mm -hmm. Klar. Oh wow! Oh. Don't don't say that that cloud sucks when 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 Stefan is in chat, Celio. <laughs> <laughs> Why he always says that? He's like he's like the anti-cloud guy. Anti-cloud oh, okay. guy. And Celio just hates cloud for whatever reason, <laughs> and he hates my PC. Seven. Okay, fashion. okay. That's no. <laughs> He just hates Cloud, so he's basically an old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Old ma old Celio yells at Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody does the, the fan up, please. Uh. Yeah. Well, I, I guess we know what to draw later. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Cloud, but... I mean, I haven't played it my, myself because I don't, I don't use DLC characters. No. I mean, I'm more of a. You just don't have the money, admit those. it. Well, I could, but I don't, I, I don't play Smash all that often. Uh, yeah, okay. Lately, so I don't. Also, I'm, I'm more a fan of those strategic, uh, smart characters like Robin. Oh, okay. Which which is a is a is a much more uh, a much nicer sounding version of camper character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Robin is not really a camper, but uh, I mean, according to according to, uh, to to Stefan, he or she is a camper, but I don't think so. It's just a very strategic and smart character. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are from Crosscode to Sadio Valley to Smash. Yay! As usual, I think there's recently yes. there hasn't been any cr like uh, cross code stream without Smash discussions. Smash, really? Yeah. With uh, Stefan. Oh, at mean? least whenever Stefan is around, we always talk about. Smash. Oh, okay, okay. And that's like <laughs> the time when I get most productive because I I don't can I can't really say anything to that, so I I'm just going to the game. Uh, uh, we got a great question from one of our favorite fans. Oh. Hey, uh, um, from Seizo. Eh? Oh. Uh, curious question at Radical Fish Games: Will you guys be attending Gamescom this year? I'm considering working on trying to get the tickets there. Um, um, that's a good question. <laughs> not I mean, really, not really sure. We didn't plan anything so far. Like um, so far, yeah. I don't think we will have like <laughs> the same presence we had last year because last year was 
it was really exhausting and I didn't really get the impression it was really worth all the effort which might be related to the fact that we didn't release anything at this time and yeah. this year we also be like far from the release as you know we have no release in next year beginning next year so that's mm -hmm. why I don't think we will have like a big boost or anything but maybe we'll still visit I think that's something mm -hmm. we could do I something. mean, it 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 also depends on on uh, on if there will, if there will be another uh, like indie uh, indie arena event and stuff like that. I guess there I is mean, actually. I already know there's there going to be yeah. indie arena. There is actually because mm -hmm. I already got the mail and everything, so we could register, but we have to do mm -hmm. this in time then. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it it, it depends if the. Uh, but it's um, expensive. Like indie arena expensive. costs really costs quite. <laughs> Okay, not you, you can't. I'm 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 not sure if you can actually say the, the real amount. I'm not I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't plan to say it. Don't worry. I know. Okay, I just. <laughs> you don't think I can? Uh, well, I I'm not sure. Have... I just I just wasn't sure about the. Yeah, I think not, you always have to be I'm, careful I'm, when it's I'm about always money. Business. I mean, I I I would definitely like to to um, have a booth again because it's always great to talk to. Like colleagues and stuff, and look at other things, and talk to fans. Yeah. As, as, especially when it's basically the last Gamescom before our release. That's actually true. But of course, that is unless course, we will really postpone it again. We won't post. Felix, please. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, you never. I would, of course, I would. I don't hope this will happen, but. Uh, yeah. Let's be honest. This wouldn't be the first game where this happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, Stardew Valley um, was also like delayed several times. I think. I th I thought you. And I heard saying. I uh, heard you saying Maroon Valley, but that's weird because Maroon Valley isn't postponed. Oh yeah, yeah, Maroon Valley. So basically, Stardew Valley is like um, <laughs> a weird tree that that doesn't exist from now on. Yes. So like, I don't know what you mean, there's no weird tree. Yes, exactly. And there will also be no weird cac uh, cacti. Yeah, like, I don't know what you mean. There's only perfectly shaped regular Oh god damn it. Regular, uh, uh, decay, uh, decay found out that we delay uh, CrossCode um, to, to uh, 2019. Now it will be in, in all the presses. <laughs> no! <laughs> It will be basically like uh, uh, Gameswelt News Flash. The indie, the indie uh, game Crosscode will be delayed for another two years. <laughs> <laughs> Five Why? years of development streams. <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, um, Urinstein asked something. Mm. He asked for Crosscode Discord uh, for a public one or what? Um. Yeah, we should finally do this. I mean, we have prepared something. Yeah, yeah, we will do this at some point. You know, why don't we do it? Just do it today, because it's not difficult. All I, I have mean, to we do. We could. We could. Uh, it's just uh, just a test because I mean, essentially, we can just. Uh, <laughs> um, broke the NDA, mate. <laughs> but you know what? I don't think it's a good no. idea to do it right now. Because then people will just go to Discord, and we have people in Discord, and people in the Twitch chat, and I don't know where to look really, mm. so that's confusing. And we do this at the end of the stream, okay? I think that that's better. Um, I mean, wouldn't that be a problem in, in any case? Like having people in, in Discord and in Twitch chat? That would be cool, but I think right now it would be just a bit confusing if people now started going in both, mm -hmm. and then they would be active in Twitch too, and Discord and in Twitch, and I don't know where to look. We could we could make Discord into a, into basically a VIP channel for for those who who, who uh, donated Watcher perk. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. Guess yeah, that, that would be. A rushed game is bad forever. Well, I mean, you can always patch it, but um, I would that, rather say a rushed game. Hush, hush. That's that's um, a, that's a very famous quote from Shigeru Miyamoto. Is it? Yeah. Well, I I guess he he made that quote before the patch culture. Uh, Probably. Existed, but <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's kinda, I don't even know. if you patch the game, you even if you patch the game, you still have the bad reputation that yeah, will haunt you, you for forever. So it's better to actually release a game that is that is mostly 
finished and good. <laughs> and I mean, it's you can always patch more content and, 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 and bugs and stuff, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a good thing we are like so crazy about details that we actually release something that's mm. already pretty very well playable. So that that actually helped. And it's a good thing that that that, that the, um, the quests that I create are so um, stable and not overly complicated <laughs> and prone <Yeah>. to errors. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's like, nah. god damn it! It's just because I want to do things dynamic. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too dynamic. Holy shit! Yeah, well, I mean, you, uh, yeah. I will just make you fix all the bugs then when we release stuff. But then you probably can't, and then I have to go in and I have to. Do this. <laughs> well, if it's just like the the um, broken quest scenes or stuff, then I will most likely be able to fix the bugs, but yeah. <laughs> because it's unless it's like navigation uh, bugs, because that's yeah. Well, some of them are actually yeah. because I messed up and. A good thing we find Aha, that. and I found them. Yeah, you do indeed. Yeah, um, DK is one of our um, main creative guy because he's one of our bakers. For oh, bakers? Yeah, DK, where's the freaking bread? I'm still waiting to this day. I'm hungry. Give me bread. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Diablo 3 is that, is, that hor is that horrible game with the horrible real money auction house and the bad. The bad item drops and the bad game design overall. That's true. <laughs> because um, because they, they they fix a lot of stuff, but it it still has this really bad reputation because the first versions are really bad. I see. And really bad. But then again, I mean, it's kind of a good thing because then people might play actually good games like Path of Exile. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew you would say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that you would know. But actually, Path of Exile has a new um, expansion. Oh, that's, that's freshly out. Okay. It's still yeah. going well, the game? With, um, new... It's still going well. I mean, it's... I guess so. It has a lot of... I mean, it's it's actually pretty um, pretty great that it's going so well. Not only because it's a great game, but also because it has a really good business model. Yeah, I, I heard that. Like, they're actually real, like, um, free to play without pay to win. Like. Really yeah, focusing right. I on mean, decorative stuff and things like that. And it works. I mean, mm -hmm. the only things that, that actually have a use for you gameplay-wise are um, additional character slots and chest slots. And you don't really need them, to be honest. I mean, chest slots are really useful, of course, but I mean, you can still play play well without them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, at lesser that's true. But then again, I haven't really played Path of Exile all that much in the last... <sighs> Uh, two or three months, two or three months or something. Hmm. It's too busy actually doing crossword work, or playing Stardew Valley, I guess. Uh, Path of Exile was on Kickstarter. I don't even know about that. Really? Okay. A lot I, of I games don't know have about been that. on I mean, Kickstarter I've... that I didn't know of. Somebody actually said that yeah. Stardew Valley was on Kickstarter. Is that correct? Because I didn't find anything. Maybe. I haven't found find any found anything, yeah. But yeah. I think I mean Path Path of Exile definitely had um, they definitely had their own own um, like uh, shop for for stuff, and they had it for a long time. So I don't even know about uh, Kickstarter. I know they are a pretty professional studio, from what I from what yeah, I saw. definitely. Unlike us. You're just unlike us. <laughs> you're just a bunch of guys I mean, sitting in the parents' basement or something, well, and doing game dev. I mean, we are, we don't even have an office, no. <laughs> so we just do our game dev stuff wherever we just have a place and a laptop. And then so we... if everybody wonders how how the hell could you still develop with that Indiegogo money, and that's why Antiodex has money. Yeah, <laughs> we don't really have that much <laughs> money to spend except for like uh, wages. Yep. <laughs> and uh, well, and the occasional convention, as the we said, but that's not yeah. really. And of course, cross weeks and food, like, like uh, the very expensive frozen pizza. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I can't find anything about about no, um, Study Valley on I, Kickstarter I, I, about perfect. No, um, oh, about Path of Exile. 
Yeah, it's in. There's actually an article about how Path of Exile is crowdfunding, but not the Kickstarter way, <laughs> because oh. they basically make uh, crowdfunding on their own system with, with their um, with their mm. um, um, uh, microtransaction shop. <coughs> oh, what's this here? Did I mess something oh. up here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's the? Secret. We don't use the money. Holy shit! What happened here? What did you do? I don't know. I probably messed up the height map real bad. Stefan, are you around? Friends. Stefan, what is this? Why is the... Did I mess this up or did he do something... I don't know here. Uh, I don't know, I think... I think I messed up the height map here. Because God there's... damn it, Felix. Yeah, I will be, I will be able to fix that. <laughs> I mean, I would be kind of surprised if you didn't... If you weren't able to fix it. I don't know how this works. Somebody I don't know how this works. works. How, do, how does height map work? Who wrote this shit? Oh man. How is how is height map formed? Uh, the there was a small cave there. How does this even work? Oh man. Look, um, oh, man. I'm gonna save oh, and gonna so reset. Like uh, get stash and gonna have a look at it, and maybe I will understand what what was there originally. It's, that's the magic of Git, guys. When you do game development and teams, use Git. It's it's essential. Yeah, definitely. Git so. is like. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. Hey, Stefan, hey, Stefan, hey, Stefan, hey, Stefan. Like, wait, why is the height map right. so different here? Did you do this the by hand? It's different because I didn't. Yeah, I did it by hand, and you actually. Oh. Uh, and you actually broke a puzzle there because you remapped. All right now you can see it. All right, I can see it. I can see oh, it. Yeah, but, that's but dangerous. why did you do it by hand? Why? Because I forgot to add the correct height map there. I don't know. Okay, I will just I will just undo I will do it with the height map. I mean, it looks like something you can do with the height map. So then sure, I don't have the problem ahead. because I want I want to change the terrain and I don't want to do this by hand. Um, yeah. Okay, I I I saw it, so I, I will do the same again. Should be no problem. All right, all right. Oh, better. Oh, I'm I'm. All right. Go. Yeah. Thanks for telling. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Surprise, Stefan! Uh, <laughs> buy, buy a friendly Stefan out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice surprise. Yep. And now we're back on track. <laughs> yep. By the way, I I, I wanted to try <laughs> to actually do something while what? Always destroying his work. Always yeah, destroying yeah. my work. What? what why? Why don't you use the height map? That's my big question here. I mean, come on. Well, I, I mean, I did that as well at, at some point, um, like doing yeah. certain things by hand, oh, man. but only only like like really minor things because sometimes yeah. it just sometimes you 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 just don't want to use the height map again because you've done so many stuffs. Yeah, but I mean, there was supposed to be a rough really. version. Should try to keep mm. the rough versions. I mean, some like I understand like when you have to jump up somewhere, then you can't use the height map, and then. Then you have to be careful, but mm -hmm. that was just, you know, just a jump panel essentially. So that that looks roughly the same. It's probably not perfectly the same, but I don't. Since you don't have to throw anything here, I guess it will work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, I tried <laughs> Paddy K game development, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, mm -hmm. it shows again how professional we are. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> 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 yeah, we I always... mean, guys, honestly. With us, the indie is still indie. <laughs> <laughs> it's still okay. real. We're still, living, we're still could, living on the edge. It could be much worse, really. I think we're doing pretty well in terms of teamwork. Yeah, of course. Well, that's just... Yeah, we are at least doing it kind of like... Um, I don't want to say professionally, but we um, at least try to um, adhere to certain professional, professional work uh, structures. Okay. <laughs> kind of sorter. Wait, is that is that? Kind of sorter sometimes. Why? Oh man, did I break something what? again? Is there? Is that supposed to be correct? Because that's kind of mean. Like you go there and see, ah, I can't go there. Why can't I go there? Oh, like, huh? There's 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 cliff there. I'm gonna check that again. <laughs> 
tap was correct. That's that's a really that's a really beautiful map, I think. With those holes in the ground and stuff. Yes, it's, yeah. a, yes, it's, it's correct. It's correct. So it's just there to troll players. It's there to troll players, and now you spoil the surprise. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. God damn it, Felix. God damn it. Whatever. <laughs> so, Whatever, sorry. man. Hashtag. You can blame Stefan for that. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because you did it. So I made all these maps. So, so you. Stefan right is now. always so. <laughs> always strong. Uh, so. Not Stefan. I mean, I mean, Felix is Felix is, is is always so so worried about the well um, the well being of the of the poor poor innocent player. Yeah. Like That's because he never. Like, been... Is it because he never played Dark Souls? Yeah, I don't, yeah. don't plan to. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're like, I, I, if you're like me and play Dark Souls, you 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 learn to hate the player, and you learn to to embrace that hate. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, don't oh, hate the player, hate the game. But then again, you you shouldn't hate hate Crosscode. You should buy it. You can hate it. <laughs> and tell you your friends. Hate it. But maybe after two hours when you can't refund it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> right, Kate thinks bye! Bye bye! Bye! <laughs> bye, random Stefan! Random, bye, random Stefan. Stefan is featured in the stream only like 2% of the time. Yeah, I've, 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 I've kind of feel like a liar now because I only. Um, I, I, I said in the multimedia access post that, that um, I will keep you company, not Stefan. Now I lied to everyone. You're a liar. You're a horrible person. God. Yes, but I mean, uh, coming back to Felix being worried about the player, he's always worried when I when I make quests, and especially quests with special enemies, that the enemies are too difficult, or that's the thing is. I, um, first of all, everybody is more concerned than the one who created them. I just said, remember, like yeah, the mid boss true. and the cold dungeon. I was like, oh, I think that that's okay. Remember, everybody, like, that's too difficult, Felix. <laughs> make it easier. I think it's okay. Uh, Remember now, Apollo now, in the first version. Yeah, like remember <laughs> Apollo. Hmm, I think that's true, but why the oh, he's so difficult, god damn it. And it's, it's oh <laughs> shit, I just made make a horrible mistake. Did I fix but it? But Felix <laughs> I think I fixed it. Oh shit. Yeah. I mean that's, that's true, but <laughs> I think it still looks because I just Okay. I'm now I'm 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 really gonna try to, to continue the quest. Because, guys, there will be quests in the new version. More quests. But who reads the questions? Okay, I, I guess I gotta look at the chat myself sometime. I can also read uh, the questions at times. At some. But mm. first, I will, I, will, I will take a bite out of crime. And with crime, I, I mean this delicious toast. I don't, I don't get that. Have you never heard uh, take a bite out of crime? Yeah, but okay, whatever. I guess there is no connection to the bread whatsoever. Not really. <laughs> That's, uh, man. Your pants used to be better. Well, actually, I mean, my pants are amazing. I yeah, mean, I've, I, 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 I told you how I called my farm, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Akra Re Reef Re -re Farm. Or what was it? Oh man! Yeah, it 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 sadly only works in it sadly only works in German. So <laughs> <laughs> my pants are amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think I really have to defend the honor of my pants in a in a <laughs> game of uh, super uh, super sky arena. Oh come on! I no. mean, I, I decline. DK might be good. DK might have been great. In, no, I, I was rather t talking to DK because he challenged yeah. my pun strength. Oh, okay. I mean, DK, oh. DK might have been good in Sky Arena, but in Super Sky Arena, I reign supreme. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> because the name changed for some reason. Uh -huh. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, you yeah, said it before. It's like, at the beginning of the stream. On. It, it's really weird, yeah. Actually, Stefan, I didn't even. It's it's not just that I cringed. I broke down in the in the door frame. 
It sounds even worse. Which is a, which is a, a special kind of uh, pain. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh man. Well, actually, I think I have to, uh, I have to actually um, do a few practice rounds of <laughs> of uh, Sky Arena because I haven't played it in like <laughs> months. Oh man, something's messed up with the auto tiles once again. <laughs> but I will continue with the quests. I have to. Do I have it. to make the last scene. I have to make the last scene and maybe improve the dialogue a bit. Or make the enemies harder. And make the enemies. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I, I should. Maybe I, 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 I should. Maybe I should really um, increase the enemies in the crossfire battle to eight. Sounds like a plan. Instead of five. Sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> I, I, please, please show your address for complaints before the fight starts. Like, any complaints with that <laughs> fight, please direct it to this email. I think I should... Hmm. Maybe, maybe I can manage to actually write some dialogue now, then, then, then you can show the fight. And then I will make a version actually, yeah. specifically... F I could do that, But actually. wait, I will... But I later, later. Do I still First I want to commit... Okay. I wonder if I have a good save, actually. Maybe it's... Maybe you could first save... I have, I have, first I want to commit, and then I will give you a save, and then you can show it. Like, with, because with I, some I, proper dialogues, or is... Yeah, yeah, I will, I will um, write the dialogue right now. As long as you don't have the, this, these special debug dialogues in there. Oh, that's... Um, I already removed that. It, it was... Okay. It was I mean, it was already removed in the version you... I had, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just that you didn't um, pull the the changes. <laughs> pull. Pull. Bye, Stefan. Goodbye, Stefan. <laughs> Guten Hunger. Stuff. Actually, uh, DK, I think the, the pun will actually be in the game at some point. So you can look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> what pun? The okay. one with the, the, the mate you yeah, <laughs> yeah. the door frame. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. I actually still have decided on the on the personality of that quest character. Yeah, it's about time you do. But then again, since he's called sober, I guess he should be very like glum and Low energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, as we all know, sober people are no fun. Yeah. And, and, and now I have to say a disclaimer like, Radical Fish Games does not uh, condone al um, alcohol abuse. Please, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please don't overdo it. Please don't overdo it. Sober people can also be cool and yeah. fun. Yeah. Yes, we want to kill our audience, because then it can't refund. That's a good plan, right? <laughs> yeah, sounds like like a plan. That people can't refund. They can't press the refund button, so that's 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 fine. Then again, then again, uh, I the, guess the, the pun will most likely uh, um, appear after the two hours mark. But I whatever. guess the, I guess the Sword Art Online creator must have had the same sword pattern. Where when they're dead, oh, or yes. trapped, they can't refight, right? <laughs> so it's like then a again, a game like Sword Art, a game like Sword Art Online would would uh, run on a on a monthly su subscription. But, but then yeah. again, it's it's kind of genius because you can't I mean, cancel the subscription. The yeah, they are trapped in the game and. You can't get out unless you die. So you basically have to keep the su su subscription running. And if you die, then the family of the deaf, deaf person will most likely have better things to do than to cancel the subscription. <laughs> it's actually... Oh god. It's actually, actually really like, the funny thing is I had I, I, I talked with Shizui about Sword Art Online and all these uh -huh. anime things and he pretty much shares our opinion with Concern of that. 
which was nice. Like, he doesn't want to have like microwave helmets in Crossworlds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like the whole premise of Sword Art Online is just stupid. And uh, yeah, but uh, but we have um, we have actually finally started watching uh, the uh, database. database. The database, of course. Da database, the enemy. Database, database. Just living in the database. Whoa, whoa. Just sweeping in the database. <laughs> sweeping in the database. Very good anime. Um, anime. Uh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, animo. Adjust glasses. Slash adjust glasses. I'm just really confused. About your glasses? No, about this. Oh, I get it. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. But Felix, you just don't get it. Yeah, I, I got it now. <laughs> just that. Alright, so I uh, know finally. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm still not, not entirely done. Damn it. Oh, here. Now we walk into the realm of Chip Tunes. Hey, Peter, ehrlich. Hi there. Oh. Ah, okay, I just realized again that um, while streaming. Uh, writing dialogue might be one of the worst uh, kind of game dev oh, activity. Oh, yeah, because pretty much, because <laughs> you need your full attention. Writing dialogues is uh, maybe even worse than doing coding. That's really something you can't do. So I guess I have to show the place orders, right? No, no, wait, I'm, I, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna um, do it. Uh, give me like half an hour. Alright. <laughs> give me like half an hour. <laughs> Uh Oh yeah, and it's I mean to be honest it's it's not really all that presentable because it still lacks like the the barriers, the proper ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then again, I mean whatever. Whatever man. Huh? That's some pretty intense ship tunes right there. Uh, huh? Nothing. Oh, what's that? Almost sounds like Gundam. What? Gundam? What Gundam? I don't know. I uh, maybe or not. Well, um, what are you? Re oh, no, it's it's Vanguard. Oh, okay, okay. What you was mean Vanguard like again? You mean like it? It sounded like the the new Gundam, or what do you mean? I it kind of sound like something Gundamish from this music. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Oh, actually, I will fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that heart? God damn it. Oh man, I have to lock in. <laughs> Why am I not mm. locked in? I don't know. Why aren't you? <sighs> Sign of his Facebook. Oh yeah. Okay. That's actually my account. Cool. I just locked him with Facebook. Okay. Hmm. 
I like that. Really good song. It's really... I get the impression whenever I'm listening to SoundCloud during the stream, I find like the most amazing music. But not when I'm doing it outside mm. of the stream. It's really strange. <laughs> yeah, that sounds... Sounds about right. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just... Just coincidence. Did you know that SoundCloud is done in Germany? Uh, yes, I did. Because someone told us, uh, like... Very recently somebody told us, yeah, I think... Was it Teflon? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was really surprised. Might be, yeah. Real big platform done in Germany. Cool. Always happy about to hear something like that. Always happy about us Germans doing something... Yeah. Uh, I I internet related properly. <laughs> Yeah. Despite it, dis despite it being Neuland. Yes. <laughs> oh god damn it. NG. Okay. Right. No, I think I f I'm finally done with uh, the sand details. You, you already noticed that it really takes a long time to do all these map details. It's, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's kind of like... How do you say Fleißarbeit in English? I have no idea. Uh, busy work? Yeah, yeah, right, it's busy work. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, but still it's a lot of work, yeah. And uh, the worst part is... is it's kind of um, a, a mixture between busy work while still be, um, while still being s um, um, a bit of creative work, which is quite a bad mixture because um, it is busy work, so you uh, tend to go into um, to fall into patterns, but you have to force yourself to to not fall into patterns while doing that busy work. So it's kind of well, I mean that's essentially how drawing is too. I think. Mm -hmm. True. I know. But then again, w when you draw stuff, you don't have to pay attention that the uh, players can 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 jump right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's a different topic. Uh, you have to also be careful about the layout and stuff. You know, about mm -hmm. the layout. About the layout, so Leia doesn't fall out of the screen. You know, get it? No. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to do some puns too once in a while. No, okay. that's not your. That's not your um, area of expertise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Germans are perfectionists, especially when it comes to fucking up. <laughs> yes. To fucking up. What? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I mean, we 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 did create some. Major fuck ups. That that's <laughs> true, yeah. We have to be like we always optimize things, even the worst things. Imagine. Yeah, that's kind of <sighs> and I guess we better leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um <laughs> Hey okay, look, it's sand. I'm drawing sand. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful sand. But let me actually explain what I'm doing right now. Um I was like, previously the sand that I was mapping has like this very distinct corner and when I saw that I thought hey, that's good but maybe, I mean, the sand tends to spread around over the area so I am I added some additional sand tiles that you can map in an additional layer on top that kind of like gives the more smooth transition from earth ground to sand ground, that, that's what I'm doing here. You are mapping sand tiles, like Power Rangers? <sighs> yes, <laughs> I guess. Small, a huge amount of small little yellow Power Rangers. Is there even a yellow one? <laughs> I think I'm sure there was a yellow one at one, po one point. Uh, yeah, actually in the first Power Rangers, what did it, they had a yellow one. <laughs> okay. It was, um, it was actually the, the Asian girl because they were kind of racist back then. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was kind of it was kind of dumb. In the f um, the first Power Rangers basically had like the, the the Black Ranger for the black guy and the Yellow Ranger for the 
<laughs> for the yellow Whoops. girl. Uh, not yellow girl, for the Asian girl. Uh, it was really... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then again, it's Power Rangers. I mean, it's, it's not something you should look for political messages or whatever. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna test that. Oops. That really is some nice sand. Hmm. She was really called Tai Tang? Or, I mean... Who? I couldn't... I think I couldn't tell you any, any of the Power Rangers name. Except <laughs> for, I think... I think one of them was called Tommy. That's pretty, yeah. That's basically what it is, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, what I'm doing here is probably not the best. Ah, uh, never mind, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Because uh, the idea is usually that you want to map those centers at the end. Because sometimes you want to place other stuff and then you don't need to map the sand tiles around. But then again, I think doing it the other way around, you tend to... You have to be very careful on how to place those sand tiles so you don't erase the other details you placed before. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's actually, I think it's easier that way, if I think about it. Mm -hmm. Even though you have to cover more area, but yeah, whatever. And this, the nice thing about these tiles is because they're so subtle, you don't need to be very precise about them. You can just really roughly draw them a bit over them and it kind of looks cool. Oh, that one. I think I know this one already. Let me check. No, I don't. What the hell? I'm gonna puff that. Felix, why don't you know stuff? I mean the, the SoundCloud track right now is really good. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I get my ass kicked by my own fight. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's too easy, Hannah. Do eight. Do it. Eight turrets. Okay, I, I think I will just, I will just not. Um, I mean, I, I plan to actually give you an, a version with eight turrets at that point, but I, I think that's too much work to actually change and. and God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> just to mess with me. Yeah. It would be a pretty, fu a pretty funny experience with um, with Twitch actually being surrounded by eight turrets all of the time. <laughs> Why the hell did I not craft the song? That's a really good one. So yeah, much why, sand. Why, so hmm? much sand. Why didn't you, Felix? I don't get it. I, neither do I. It's beyond me, so... <clears throat> okay, <Yeah>. whoops. <laughs> so people are sending weird pictures. What? Like... Wait, what? What? Shana Sh cannot Shana be found or has been deleted by the owner? What? What are you doing? Felix, why did you delete the channel? Why did you delete the channel? I hope they know that maybe what was this anyway? I don't know, maybe it's just some some joke. So people if something's wrong, please start screaming. I don't get the impression right now something's wrong. Yeah, whatever. Oh, um, Oh, okay, that actually doesn't work. I just placed the sand on the wrong layer. <laughs> on the wrong layer? Yeah, this layer doesn't have sand. Oh, that's good. Who wants to have sand in her, his or her shoes? That's nobody, right? You're not gonna mm. place that sand onto our layer. 
Uh, no, I'm just got. I'm, I'm wondering if you, if instant matter um, forms inside a sandstorm, <laughs> will it's, it basically enclose particles of sand. Yes. Um, into the instant matter. That Probably. Would be, that would be pretty painful. I mean, just just imagine. You feel the sand somewhere inside of you, and you have an itch, basically. Yeah, let's just say instant it's all simulated, and they they tolerate that stuff. Or you can say like when instant okay. matter is formed, that there's some kind of uh, vacuum clearing Force thing, fields. whatever yeah. shit, and uh, that it works. <laughs> Sci-fi <Vacuum> thingy. <laughs> yeah, well, By it's the great way, to um, vacuum. Speaking of of uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. The German word for, for vacuum cleaner basically translates into a dust sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's dust great. sucker. Which dust is, sucker. quite frankly, I think it's more descriptive. Actually, yes. I mean, it, it sucks dust. <laughs> it sucks dust, that's what it does, yeah. Well, maybe other things too. Vacuum cleaner is more technical though. I mean, it describes like uh, actually the the process how it works, like it creates a vacuum and that's how it actually uh, sucks in the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you said sucks. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, sh should I just troll you and, and do... Um, and... and... and um, well, it's not trolling if you tell me what you're gonna do. I can tell you that. Already. Yeah, I'm just too honest to actually troll you. Yeah. I'm, I'm not just, I'm just not gonna do it. But or, or am I? You should have just. I'm not gonna do it, and then you actually do it. That would have worked. But now I expect both things. Well, I mean, <laughs> you can just look in the in the in the editor yeah. before you play. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's, this, it's it's not like if you sent me a, or, uh, if you sent me a save file, I'm actually not gonna open the editor, at least not the right map. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, it would be good if you could prepare a save file for me because I yeah, I will, I will definitely. Don't think I have one here for the not web version. Well, it it might not even work because um, the quest structure ch structure changed. So if you have begun the quest at some point, then. Placing all the tiles, 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 tiles. <sighs> okay, so Twitch was having issues. Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. Um, you should alter the jump physics to represent an increased in density due to the sand after respawning in the sandstorm. Oh, come on, guys. Oh. <laughs> 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 that would, uh, actually, that would break a lot of things. If you couldn't jump as high as usually, and then like all the that's um, you couldn't jump that's, up ledgers, and well, would make the whole thing pretty useless. That actually sounds more. That actually sounds more uh, more like something that Dwarf Fortress would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sandy, sand, sand, sand. Sandy? No. Descent. 
still kind of concerned about the enemies because, uh, like, <laughs> three out of the four enemies we're gonna introduce in the heat area are digging through the earth or the sand. <laughs> I think we can't like focus too much. Actually, on <laughs> about digging. About what? We we focused too uh, too much about digging. Yeah. On digging. Or what? Like yeah, all those enemies there are just digging in the sand or the earth, and uh, <laughs> we might have to add some more enemies to give it a bit more variation. But yeah, we can do this over time. Well, I mean, it's um, don't we all don't we also have like some flying enemies? Yeah, that's that's that, that's the fourth enemy. <laughs> That isn't digging. <laughs> that one is flying, which is much better, right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so you can expect a lot of annoying enemies here. Yay! Getting kind of cool. Right, so, <sighs> so, which Pokemon will I be able to catch in this area? I don't know. Like, there. I, I'm thinking of a clever answer right now, kind of slow. Uh, I think I know to the Pokemon to actually give an appropriate answer to that. Right, the Pokemon will be sand. You just you can catch sand. Huh. <laughs> 